Hey man, thanks for checking out Billy the Kid Adventures. Today's episode, we're talking about Cleveland's hometown hero, Superman. Superman has been an international icon for decades, appearing in movies, television shows, and of course in comic books. Making his debut in Action Comics number 1 in June 1938, Superman's popularity quickly grew, evolving into a worldwide pop culture phenomenon. Superman was created right here in Cleveland by writer Jerry Siegel and illustrator Joe Schuster, who were close friends from their days at Cleveland's Glenville High School. Commemorating Superman's origin in Cleveland, the passionate Siegel and Schuster Society has worked tirelessly over the years to honor Superman, his creators, and their hometown. The Society facilitated the Superman display at Cleveland Hopkins Airport, which details Superman's history, including his Cleveland roots. Behind me on Kimberly Avenue in Cleveland's Glenville neighborhood is a sign proclaiming this is the house where Superman was born. The residence is where Superman writer Jerry Siegel grew up and was renovated by the Siegel and Schuster Society. Let's take a closer look. Here's a closer view of the sign in front of Jerry Siegel's house. And then an even closer view. And slightly down the sidewalk is Jerry's original design for the Superman logo that can be seen on the fence. And the site behind me is where Superman's illustrator, Joe Schuster's apartment once was. And the display behind me features Superman's first story from Action Comics number one. Beginning on the left side of the wraparound fence is the cover of Action Comics number one, the first appearance of Superman. The panels wrap around the fence with the story concluding with the final panel showing Superman, the new superhero we've all waited for. And not too far away, at East 105th and St. Clair, is an Ohio historical marker for the home of Superman, detailing Superman's nearby Glenville High School connection with Siegel and Schuster. In 1988, the world celebrated Superman's 50th anniversary. Time magazine featured Superman on its cover. Over on CBS, there was a 50th anniversary Superman television special. Back in Cleveland in 1988, we celebrated Superman's 50th anniversary with a Superman-based convention. And a cool Cleveland-themed Superman poster was even made for the occasion. Part of the weekend Superman festivities included a ticker tape parade down Cleveland's Euclid Avenue with Superman himself greeting parade attendees. The convention and parade were part of a bigger effort for the city of Cleveland to build a Superman statue, create a Superman museum, and host an annual Superman festival. Sadly, the organization leading the Superman effort had financial problems, ultimately leading to bankruptcy, and thus, no Cleveland Superman Museum or statue came about from 1988's 50th anniversary celebration. Over the decades since 1988's failed Superman Museum and statue effort, the Cleveland media has lamented our city's continued failure to rightfully honor Superman, and from a practical viewpoint, use Superman as an economic tourist draw. So, 
In 2015, when Cleveland announced that they'd finally be building a Superman statue to coincide with Superman's upcoming 80th anniversary in 2018, the story was quickly reported locally, nationally, and even internationally, and met with great enthusiasm in Cleveland. But sadly, once again, there were problems and the promise of a Superman statue being built in Cleveland fizzled. Here are the two models that were to be used for the Superman statues that were never created. The model unveiled in 2015 currently resides in the Cleveland Public Library, which is where I filmed the start of this video. Everyone familiar with the Superman saga knows Superman and his alter ego, Clark Kent, reside in the city of Metropolis, where Clark works as a newspaper man at the Daily Planet. A few short years after Cleveland's well-publicized 1988 Superman Museum and statue failed effort, the small town of Metropolis, Illinois, saw the opportunity to brand itself as the home of Superman and opened the Superman Museum five years later in 1993. And along with the Super Museum and gift shop is coincidentally a large Superman statue. And there's also an annual and very popular Superman Festival. Another popular trend over the years has been for cities to build pop culture themed statues which provide the opportunity to honor that individual while also capitalizing on their popularity from a tourist attraction perspective. For instance, there's statues in North Carolina with Andy and Opie, London has Mary Poppins and most recently Harry Potter, and Philadelphia has Rocky. While back in Cleveland, there's the unfortunate reality of two failed Superman statue attempts and one Superman Museum fiasco. Hopefully one day the city of Cleveland will do Superman right and build a museum, statue, and have an annual event that's been lacking for decades. Thanks again for checking out Billy the Kid Adventures and my Cleveland Superman video. Please check out my Margaret Hamilton Cleveland-based video also. Another unfortunate person that Cleveland has not taken advantage of to both honor and cash in from a tourist attraction perspective. And also feel free to check out my graphic novel, Hey You Punks, about growing up on Cleveland's gritty near west side. Links for both the Margaret Hamilton video and the Hey You Punks graphic novel can be seen below.